Hey guys, so I have a story to tell you that happened just a few moments ago. I was at Tim Horton lining up to get some sandwich. And beside me, there was an older man who's trying to be a gentleman. So I complimented him saying, Aw, that's very nice of you. Anyway, to make this story short, I ended up having a conversation with him. Because why not? It's a beautiful day to just say hi to everyone and just make their day, right? So we started talking about coffee and many other things about his daughter. And he also told me that he was 71 and I complimented him that, hey, you don't look like 71. And he told me, oh, I don't feel like 71. And I was like, hey, whatever you feel like, age, age is just a number, right? You can feel however you want. And again, to make the story short, after I ordered my sandwich, and then I asked him, where do you drink your coffee? Do you just sit here or do you go somewhere? And he's like, oh, I like to take my coffee in the park and just drink there and listen to a very good music. And I was like, oh, that's very nice. That's a good idea. And then he was like, would you like to come? And I was like, oh, no, no, no. I'm okay. Thank you. <laughs> and he was like, oh, that's okay. I thought I thought I asked, uh, you know, I'm old and I'm trying to be bold. And I was like, hey, it's good to try. It's not going to hurt you for asking. Worst case scenario, I say no or I say yes. And this is what exactly I've been trying to tell you guys. Helga in real life is super duper friendly person. I say hi to everyone regardless of your age, regardless of your race, and regardless of your situation. I like when I see people smile and I like when I see people talk to me. However, many of you here on TikTok, especially older guys, took it personally. Just because I'm nice and I'm responding to you doesn't mean I'm flirting with you. I mean, I respect your courage to talk to me and for trying to ask me. But it doesn't mean I'm going to flirt with you. So that's it. I thought I'd share. Hello everyone. Story time. I know many of you know how much I love bubble tea. So what happened today was I was lining up to buy bubble tea. But in front of me, there was a guy who was buying bubble tea as well. And he was getting taro bubble tea. But then I asked him, what what kind of tea are you getting? So he told me about the bubble tea. And then he asked for my advice if it's good because apparently it was his first time. And so I did give him a lot of recommendations what not to get or what to get if it's his first time. Anyway, to make the story short, when he was ready to pay, he offered to pay for my bubble tea. And I said, no, don't pay for my bubble tea because I'm also buying one for my mom as well. And he was like, well, why don't I pay for your mom as well? And I was like, oh no, don't worry about it. But the thing is, he was actually insisting of buying for my bubble tea as well as for my mom. So I ended up saying, you know what, you have some change anyway. Why don't you just leave your change and I'll pay for the rest of my bubble tea. And he was like, okay, fine, let's just do that way. So anyway, to make the story short, I respect the fact that he did try to offer to pay for my bubble tea. However, I didn't feel that he was uh flirting with me you know what i mean it almost feels like he appreciated me rather than wanting to flirt with me and i did feel the kindness that he offered towards me because he was very genuine and sincere about it and for me i know that there are a lot of men out there who want to help you who want to offer you something but at the same time they want something in return but for me, I feel something that, you know what, I'm so glad that not all men are like that. Not all men who wants to help you because they want something in return for the sake of their own sexual benefits. So I respect those kind of men because, you know, not obviously not all men are like him, but a lot of men are only seeking for something in return. But, you know, if you're if you're the kind of man who who are like that man today, I respect you and I salute you and thank you very much. Cheers, guys! Huge mouth. In the Philippines, if you have huge mouth, it's considered ugly. But in the Western world, if you have huge mouth like mine, the foreigners love it. <laughs>